Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to discuss a uh, a couple of the bugs that were addressed in the uh, newly released uh, 0.18.1 of Chocolate GUI. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in here and I'll explain what I've got. So on this machine I have, I want to illustrate uh, what the problem was and then uh, obviously show it working as well. Um, so in the 0.18.0 release of Chocolate GUI there was a bug where if you had installed Chocolate GUI as an administrator and then immediately uh, switched to a non-administrator user uh, and attempted to run Chocolate GUI, then bad things happen. So basically, so I'm in that situation just now. I've installed Chocolate GUI as an administrator and I've switched over to a non-administrator account. And if I try and run Chocolate GUI here, uh, just from the command line or even just from the shortcuts, uh, it just immediately crashes. You you, you don't see it. it, it's 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 attempting to run it, because uh, if we go into the event viewer and we hit refresh here, then we'll see that Chocolate GUI is attempting to uh, be run, but it's failing immediately. Now, the reason it's failing is because when running it non in non-administrator mode, uh, you don't have access to create the new uh, global configuration database that Chocolate GUI runs. So there's kind of an implicit assumption that you at least run Chocolate GUI once as an administrator user. Now, obviously, that's not ideal, uh, so we had to fix that. So if I go back over here, I'm going to sign out of my non-administrator account, and I'm going to log in as the uh, administrator user again. I'm going to go over here, and what I'm going to attempt to do, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll start the process off, and, and then I'll talk through what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do a chocolate upgrade of Chocolate GUI here. I'm going to use a source, which is the uh, community repository. I don't have that set up on my environment here, so I'm going to need to explicitly uh, specify that I want to do that. So I'm just going to upgrade from Chocolate GUI 0.18.0 to 0.18.1. I'm still not going to run Chocolate GUI as my administrator account. But I'm going to jump back in as the non-administrator uh, just to show it uh, correctly working at this point. So let's do that. Uh, I'm just going to wait for that to install, and then I'll switch over. So that's that's it installed. So if I switch back to that non-administrator user, there's a little bit of an edge case this, but it is one that we did want to get resolved. Uh, Mainly because obviously it's it's a it's a fail. Uh, we needed to we needed to fix it. So now if I run Chocolate GUI as that non-administrator user, uh, it will now correctly run. So it hasn't obviously still hasn't been able to create the uh, global configuration database because it still doesn't have this user still doesn't have rights to uh, write into that folder. But we have made it such that um, in the absence of that. Uh, global configuration database, we still apply the, the defaults that have been set by uh, the application. So that's that issue resolved. Uh, I'm going to switch back to the administrator account just to talk through some of the uh, other things that were fixed. Because of the fact that I've upgraded from 0.18.0 to 0.18.1, I'm not going to be able to illustrate the problem happening, but I will be able to show it now working. So let's open up Chocolate GUI again. So in Chocolate GUI 0.18.0, we, we switched the default uh, to go from list view to tile view by default. But what would happen was uh, if I jumped into the settings here and I made a change. So let's say I change the show console output and then I flip back into the main view here. What would happen was it would go back to the list view rather than the default of the tile view. So that was a uh, small bug uh, in the transitioning between the settings screen and the, the main user interface here. So that's obviously been resolved. Uh, and there was one other issue that I wanted to mention, which was with regard to, again, storing information in those configuration databases that uh, Chocolate GUI uses. Uh, what would happen was that uh, although perhaps a change was made successfully, uh, so if I enable and disable the setting, if I drill down into the C program data, where those files are actually stored. Uh, so if I go into here as an example, then this is the configuration database, this is the global one. 
uh, that's currently being used. Now, what would happen is it, as you are making changes uh, through the user interface or through the Chocolate GUI CLI, uh, either the global configuration database, this one, or the user one, uh, depending on which one you're, you're, you're changing, there would be another file here that was called uh, data-log.db. Now, that's actually a transaction uh, or a non-committed uh, transaction on the database that was being left uh, as not committed into the database. So we had to make a modification to uh, the uh, LightDB uh, library that we're using uh, because the way that they handle transactions changed between a uh, version 4 and version 5. Uh, so we had to address that uh, usage in Chocolate GUI to make sure that we uh, make sure that to persist those uh, transactions against the database uh, so that they're there for the next time. So that's also been resolved. Uh, and there was one uh, small minor issue with regard to documentation uh, on the, in the new spec file, and that's also been addressed. So that's all the things that have shipped in this uh, 0.18.1 release of Chocolate GUI. Um, there was a, a related issue uh, in the Chocolate GUI license extension, which has also been addressed uh, within uh, the version 0.2.1 of that. Uh, so if you are using uh, Chocolate for Business, then I would encourage you to upgrade both Chocolate GUI and the Chocolate GUI license extension in order to uh, make sure that you've got all the fixes that are in play. Uh, and that's it. So if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to reach out. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. I hope this has been useful.